Dude, you know what's kind of weird? This uh, I run a I run walking tours here in New York City, and I'll tell you what AI will do for sure. So I want to run walking tours here in New York City, and all my walking tours, um, all the people on the walking tours, they it used to be that you had to know English, and now people come on the walking tours and they don't know English at all, but they have on their phone they have like Google Translate or some sort of AI translator. And the AI translator is so smart. It zeroes in on me as the dominant talker and it translates for them right there in real time. And so if anything, AI is just this tower of Babel. Like we remember in the Bible, the tower of Babel, we just like literally fully recreated the tower of Babel with AI at the very least. I mean, it's kind of a wild thing to think about, right? Like wherever civilization was there, with everyone speaking the same language together, whatever advancement they had in, I guess, Babylon, where, where the Tower of Babel was. I think. But yeah, that's uh, we got back there, which is wild, right? Dude, I am. I'm like a magnet for crazy. I'm not going to lie to you, man. I uh, like crazy people come up to me all the time and they just say the craziest shit. Uh, dude, a guy came up to me the other day. He just comes up to me, some random dude. He just goes, he puts his arm around me, and and he goes, uh, I'm in here in New York City, and he goes, uh, he goes, oh hey man, I'm all fucked up. He goes, what, what day is today? And I, and I go, I go, it's uh, Tuesday. He goes, ah, oh, thank you, my man. And then he just saunters on, dude. And that's insane. That's literally that's like apocalyptic behavior. And some guy going through that in that state where he just doesn't know what day it is unfortunately sees me and thinks this is a man I can reach out to. And it's probably not good for my safety to, to look like that. Tell you what candidate I want to vote for is whoever's not going to print money anymore because that's they don't raise taxes anymore. No one wants to raise taxes ever, which that makes sense. No one wants to raise taxes. But what they do is they just, they just print money. That's the same thing because you print money and it causes inflation and then taxes go up. Biden raised taxes a lot. He printed a lot of money and raised taxes a lot. That's why inflation happened. Trump printed a lot of money. Not not until um, COVID, though. That's the... Dude, when I had an office job, I used to get home and then I would smoke a bunch of weed and then I'd talk shit to my boss in my head. And now I'm self-employed. And so I'm my own boss. And so all day long I smoke weed because I don't have to wait till I get home and I just talk shit to myself in my head about myself. That's what I do now. Dude, you know what I never understood is when like uh like like Jordan Peterson, he like complains about like women not appreciating men, and it's like Yeah, it's always been that way. I don't I not to be weird, I'm not saying that he's I'm not saying that he's wrong, he's right, but it's just literally it's literally always been that way. Literally Men have always just been underappreciated, and that's I, I thought it was fine. I just thought that was like, you know what I mean? I just thought that was the way life is. I just thought as a man, you just went unappreciated by women. I just thought, I just thought realizing that and growing up was part of being a man. I don't know. It's weird when Jordan Peterson complains about it. You ever notice that people just say the script of another? Like I do, man. I just read The Economist and I just regurgitate that shit. But but other people do that, and, and they don't know. They don't, like, people in religions, they don't go, hey, I didn't make this shit up. Someone else did. Why the fuck am I doing it? They never. Isn't that weird, man? Yeah, they never make that leap of sorts. I have a theory that the uh, the Pope is the Antichrist, because that's like, I was raised Catholic, and in, in Catholic or Christian mythology, there's like an Antichrist, and... That's like a person who's just a dude, but he claims to have the power of Christ on earth. A dude or a chick who claims to have, who claims to have the power of Christ here on earth, That would, uh, even though they don't, that would be an antichrist. And that's it's just what the Pope is. So it's in a weird way, probably in the book of Revelation, we're like already, like I think the first Vatican Council was when they made the Pope infallible, quote unquote. So like that's like, that was like the first antichrist, I guess, was whatever Pope that was. And then, uh, and then, yeah, I want to say it was, I don't know. I think it was first Vatican council.
whatever council it was, whatever was the first council where they made the Pope infallible, that was the point where just that, that was like the first Antichrist. Because that's the guy who claims the power of Christ on earth. Whatever, whatever, look that up. Yeah, Christian history is uh, interesting because the first uh, Christians were just Jewish people who just believed that uh, Jesus was the Messiah and they were only Jews. And then this guy named Paul was like, uh, I'm going to export this. And then pagans loved it because pagans did human sacrifice and uh, Christianity, because it was a form of Judaism, it forbid human sacrifice through the story of Abraham, but also because uh, God sacrificed his son. So they're like, you don't have to kill people anymore to make the crops grow. So pagans were like, we love that. So then there's there's like uh, Jewish Christians. Uh, then there's there's all the pagan Christian cults that sprung up. And then uh, Rome was like, hey, this thing's taken over because it's a cure for um, human sacrifice. This Christianity, it's it's because uh, uh, because uh, other Jewish sects didn't have accept converts, but Christianity did. It was a Jewish sect that accepted converts, and so Rome was like, "Oh man, this is growing." So Rome made it the official religion of Rome, and then started to regulate it, and that became the Catholic Church. And then uh, from there, um, like schisms happen and the Protestant Reformation and everyone was like, I, the church is corrupt. My new church won't be corrupt. But then like every new church was just corrupt. That's literally the history of Christianity. Dude, that cyber attack that happened, uh, the hacker for Microsoft, man, that's like a crazy thing. Cause like I read The Economist every week and like um, a week and a half before that they were like, yeah, yeah. Uh, the cables under the water are going to get cut in acts of war and and that might affect other countries internets so internet wars are happening and then and then also the week that the attack did happen on microsoft it like google bought some company called like wix or something for or whiz for it's a cybersecurity company for 25 billion dollars so i'm not saying google did it but there's definitely like a lot of uh competition in that space so was this was this corporate terrorism was this country terrorism like what's what's going on does microsoft know was it north korea dude you know who's got to be glad that biden isn't running again is like whoever is like uh the translator for like kings or dictators because like you know, every once in a while, the president of the United States probably has to talk to like a king or a dictator on the phone and they have a translator. And so that translator was watching the debate where Biden was just like not making sense. Right. And he's thinking to himself, man, like the king or, or the dictator might have a call with Biden and the king or the dictator is going to say to me, hey, if you make me look stupid, I'm going to I'm going to kill you. And so the translator is like, oh, man, and just. Just Biden was the toughest 